Hello guys, we're back. And won the die roll. We're gonna play uh, Riku this time. Good old Riku Dragon Storm. And uh, we're against what I've heard could be a pretty competitive commander with a pretty questionable hand. If we draw green, it's okay. If we don't draw green, we're in trouble. So let's keep probably in trouble. Mm, yeah, I ran like 13 ramp spells in this deck, so this is probably not the type of hand I should be keeping. I should probably be mulliganing much more aggressively. We'll see what happens though, I guess. Opponent mold to five. Oof. Not good. Forest, forest or bust. Or at least a land, you know. Say lander, bus, forester. We're gonna be in rough shape though. Ah, right, we got there. Thank God. What the heck? There's so much text here. I can't read this all. Look at target opponent's hand and choose a card from it. You control that player until it finishes dissolving. That player plays that card if able. While doing so, the player can activate mana abilities only if they're from lands he or she controls. Only if mana they produce is blah 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 blah. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. It, you, they could cast a spell for me and choose targets, basically. And otherwise, they just make me discard something, I guess? I don't know. But I'm just gonna assume that's what happened there. Spell them? Um, I don't really care about that. Sure. This thing keeps coming up over here. Is this, like, always gonna be here now? A little bit weird. Let's go blood braid. Oh, that sounds good to me. I don't understand. So I can cast this card. That's so interesting. I just want to like do it to get this stupid pop up to go away. He's doing this on his turn? Why didn't he do this on my end step? Okay, we win. Yay! Alright guys, I'm gonna hop right into another game. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back with Riku again. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Had one game in between this one and the uh, one you saw in the beginning of this video, but the dude uh, disconnected and just left, so nothing, uh, nothing exciting happened there. I guess the Zeusa this time though. I have an okay hand. I'll have all of our colors at the very least. Well, Mana Volt. Come on, man. My deck can't grace a Mana Volt. This is my not competitive deck. You're supposed to play not competitive decks against me. Let's see what we can do though. Maybe I'll do another multiplayer game today, just for the hell of it. 
I don't know if you guys like watching those. I like playing them on occasion, but they are just like really long and can often have like lots of boring downtime. Plus like if I get eliminated quick, then I'm stuck sitting there like, do I let it play because maybe you guys want to still see how the game ends or do I just, you know, leave and go do other stuff? It's a little bit awkward unless I'm like the last person left or one of the last two. But we'll see. I think on occasion they're still alright. Lots of ramp over there. Opponent's going crazy in the meantime. While we're just having a chat. So he just plays Azusa here, I guess. Depends whether he has lands or not, right? If he doesn't have lands in hand, he might as well just play Sphere. If he does have lands in hand, Azusa is where it's at. Well, it looks like he has lands. Ugh, Eldrazi. My favorite. Actually... I like doing this here. So we should be able to play three lands this turn. Seems good. Actually, if I played all untap lands, then I could get a Rhystic Study out. Ugh, I want to keep that, kinda. Nah, we'll get rid of it. But yeah, if I played a, if I played say a forest before playing the image, and then I used a forest and I don't know bivouac to play a phantasmal image, then I would have blue plus two on another round and another forest, and I'd be able to play a rhystic study as well that turn. So it could have been a little bit better. All right, he has two more lands. He's not gonna have mana vault this turn though, so that's good. Hopefully nothing too scary. I could actually Zealous Conscripts Azusa and sack his, which is a little bit funny. But let's be honest, he's got all his mana at this point, it's not it's not really the game plan. The game plan is to Zealous Conscripts the Eldrazi he's going to play. So in the meantime... Let's play Riku. So he's got five, possibly six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can see some Aljazi this turn, possibly. I would be down with Zealous conscripting it. Although even then, like that's like a one turn answer, you know. Or then we're still gonna get beat down with an Eldrazi. Oh, that's fine. We've got on our mana at this point. Although, you know, we could always use more. I don't think we want more right now though. Right now we just want spells. Beast within really, okay. It's not the end of the world for us. It's a little bit of a damper on my copy his Eldrazi, or play his Elskon scripts, copy it, and take a Zeusa, sack it, and take an Eldrazi plan. But if he's not playing an Eldrazi, then I might as well just cast uh, Riku again this turn, right? Zendikar Resurgent. Can actually cast that. Actually, for that matter, I can't cast Riku either, huh? Let's get in there for some damages. I can't play two spells. I'm just gonna go with Rhystic Study. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he could pay for that. Like, no problem. That's the thing. So let's play this one. If I can't cast Ryukyu, I can do the next best thing, right? 
cast my pretend Riku. So you can sack this and go get an Eldrazi this turn if you wanted to. Disc, all right. I don't think I mind disc too much here. Bribery. Interesting. Go for it. It's got something big. I can make a copy of it and I want to blow up disc. So if he has the Aldrazi that blows up permanence, that's what I want. I want to get two of them. Blow up disc and I have Bugin. Acidic Slime is the backup plan for that. Uh, where is this thing? Not that one. Oh, uh, you have to cast it to get that trigger. Woodfall can do it. So let's do that. And we'll blow up the disc. And I. All right. And get in there for some damages. Yeah, it gives him a free block, that's fine. Alright, we'll have six. So we didn't get an Eldrazi, but I think we made the correct play there for sure. I'm quite happy. Quite happy with how that went. Got to do everything I was hoping to. Got rid of his board wipe and we got rid of his Eldrazi tutor. Draw a card for each creature you control. Alright. He gets to do that. Cyclonic Rift. I don't have the mana for it. So next turn we have the option available to go sell his conscripts, copy it, take both his creatures, and swing for a bunch of damage. So I'll have to keep an eye on that plan. He's going to double block, alright. And he regenerated that one. So we'll go this route, sure. All 
All right, comes back. Oh, it comes back on his side. Shoot. Was not thinking that through, huh? All right, good beats, I guess. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Hmm. Let's see what he got. He did have to draw a bunch of cards last turn, so that is scary. It's seven mana there. Adventure of Zendikar. He's gonna pay for it, alright. So he won't have regenerate up. Oh, well, he's probably gonna play a land after Avenger. So he will. Cyclonic Rift looking okay. Not great, but okay. You need to draw a land for that though. He played a tap land, so he's not gonna have that hollow. I'm just going to take this. Ah, it's not going to do it. Hmm. How much damage are we looking to take next turn? We're going to take 14, 19, plus 10 more here. Might be able to survive a turn with some chump blocks. Depends what he has in hand. He does still have four cards, so. Crater Hoof would wreck us, of course. Garrick. I mean, Garrick doesn't wreck us, but it's not really good for us either. I mean, nothing's good for us at this point, though. He has four cards in hand. Any of them are going to be a, be rough for us. He missed, got no cards. That's good for us, I guess. No land to trigger Avenger, so that's good. And he's not even attacking. He had to have just clicked through that step, right? Not attacking there is crazy. So I'm just gonna pass with Cyclonic Rift up. Why the heck wouldn't he attack there? Another Garrick, Natural Order. So he gets Terrasted on here. And Dryad Arbor. So let's see how he plays it. Cyclonic Grifting is a start, but it's not. A Hmm. So you can terrace it on post combat. So if I block here, I'm taking twelve plus ten, twenty two. I'm gonna rift anyways, and I wanna block this. I 
Alright, play that Terastodon. Do it. Gauntlet of power, okay. That's fine. That's the one that helps me out as well. So it's worth mentioning. Alright, let that come in. Let him choose his targets. Alright, there we go. So we're gonna have three three threes here. Get some damage through. And depending on how much he's able to play out, we'll be able to zealous conscripts his next threat. And hopefully that's enough. Yeah, we got a free extra card here. Hellkite Tyrant, not bad. He discarded Garrick. Droga Tree Speaker. See, if he plays Avenger next turn, it's really bad for us. But like anything else... Altracidon's not great either. Yeah, I think the odds of us winning are quite small. Because both Avenger and Trastodon will stop us from using Zealous Conscripts. Avenger just gives him too much. That makes the Zealous play kind of pointless. And Trastodon blows up our lands, so we can't cast Conscripts. He would have to blow up land, land, study, and we would have to draw exactly like Mana Vault. Or, uh, Mana Crypt. Uh, F6. That's close though. I think we uh, did an okay job playing to our outs there. He's gonna let me draw a card. It's not good. Means he has 14 mana he wants to use. <laughs> so there's this Rastodon. And he's got 6 left. I mean, 6 mana doesn't. doesn't cast Avenger. He went only for lands. That's rough. We really need to be able to. conscripts. Gauntlet makes this uh, Flood Estran 2 mana. Oh, okay. That was unexpected. But that's gonna do it. We can't beat that card. So we have 4 mana here. Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, we can only tap for double green, so we can't unexpect your results. Let's just pass like this. He's gonna get to go do some crazy things. Not sure if we have any outs at this point. Especially not with our mana getting attacked still. Sirak. You got Avenger here, yep. Alright, take the damage. Oh, we don't have any green we can get. That's rough. Soul ring, huh? It's close. Maybe we can unexpected results into something crazy. We have the mana to Zell's conscripts, but that's not going to do it. So... Oh, I had extra mana. Whatever. <laughs> yep. That won't do it. Alright, GG. Lost that one. Um, it was a close-ish game, I think. If you didn't have that Avenger... Mm, I don't know. I think we played as well as we could hope to there. I think maybe the only misplay was letting him kill our Woodfall Primus and get it back onto his side. Uh, I don't know how much of a difference that made in the long run, but... That is the only thing I could really look back at and think, mm, maybe I screwed up there. But anyways, with that, thank you guys for watching and this one here. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.